Hey, welcome back YouTube. My name is Ryan from All Mine Ranch. I'm out here in the middle of Cochise County, Arizona, within sight of the Mexico border, building an off-grid desert homestead by myself <laughs> while holding down a day job and trying to run a YouTube channel. So life is interesting. In this video, I'm building a carport, or I'm at least trying to uh, set the posts and do the outer frame and the band and the rafters for a carport, which is very necessary because I've been out here for about six months um, and I have no protection from the elements as far as my vehicles, my equipment, etc. So we're going to set some posts, we're going to do some framing, we're going to do some rafters, and I don't know, let's just see where it goes. And make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy DIY type homesteading content, that way YouTube will show you more content like this. So let's get into building a carport. Okay, so this is the container when I first acquired the property. It looks pretty basic, but I've since made lots of improvements. For this carport, I extended, I used a 2x8 to bolt it to the side of the container and then drop down a 4x4 four four, um, to provide basically the first corner post. So I clamped it in place, then bolted it, sent it in cement. And then I went to the other end of the carport and I set in another post that was going to bolt to the container and put that into cement. So that's what you're seeing here. Now the 4x4 four four was not long enough, but I had a cutoff piece that I just put right down on top of it and sistered the two together so it has strength. And since both parts are bolted to the uh, metal frame of the container, no problem there. But there's me notching out a little piece to extend out the 4x4 four four post. And then I used a 2x4 to marry them up or sister them up. And then it was time to start building the, or I'm sorry, digging the holes for all of the posts. And the ground here is extremely rocky, but I used copper green to, to treat the bottom of the post and it took a whole lot of cement and a whole lot of digging. <laughs> um, but I managed to get the two corner posts set and then I ran a string to determine what would be a straight line. And you can see there the green marks are on the ground uh, to show me where to dig. So I laid out the four by fours and I commenced to digging. It's mostly pickaxing those rocks out of there. It's not really, you can't get a shovel into that ground and you can't auger it. You basically have to pickaxe to get all the rocks out with a few handfuls of dirt here and there for good measure. So a lot of material came out of those holes and it was absolutely hot, backbreaking, dirty work, but I got them dug and mix the concrete right in the hole. I set the posts right in there, which is the method that I know how to do. And to keep them plumb and level, I sometimes clamp them to anything that was stable, including uh, my scaffold. So now you can see I've got all the posts, the concrete's hardening up there. They're of different heights, but I come back later and cut off the different height of the posts. But I got them nice and lined up. And so that's what you're seeing here is the basic support posts for the carport are done. So now it's time to start adding the band uh, that creates the framing around the top of the posts. So it's Saturday afternoon. I got up this morning, got up on the roof of this container and put a bunch of screws down into it to the cross beams because they sell these things with the roof just flapping. You get wind shearing across the top and the roof just moves and rumbles and bangs and drives me nuts with the noise. So I got up there and took care of that. I did a dump run. I also went to the farmer's market and got some cuttings of a couple of cactus, or actually two cactus and one cutting. So I did some planting out here and now it's time to get up on these scaffolds so I'm going to get up here and start putting up these 2 by 10s to create the roof outline. If I can get that far, if I can get the one on this end, the one on that end, and the three that make up the length of it, I will then have the outline of my roof, and that'll be a good start. And then I can start putting up rafters tomorrow. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go. I don't even know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to film it. I'm going to get to work, and let's see how this goes.
Well, I got the band on my carport, temporarily anyway. This one's bowed pretty bad. I'm gonna have to push it in, pull it in when I set the rafters. Once all the rafters are set, I can put in some block, or some blocks and try to draw it in a little bit. We'll see how that goes, or just do it when I'm putting the last piece of metal on. I pulled my truck into the carport now. You can see it's at an angle, an incline, a slope. I'd like to work that out a little bit. But I do have enough room to open my door pretty easily. And enough room over here. It's a little narrow, but you got to work with what you got. It's big enough for the truck and the backhoe. Although I'm starting to have second thoughts about the backhoe. But I need this anyway for the motorcycle and the truck. <laughs> anyway, I got it. I got to start on this. Uh, roofing, rafters, all that good stuff um, comes next. Welcome back. All right, well, as you can see from above me, I've got all the rafters installed on my carport. So I'm happy about that. It took two half days of effort. What's ironic or weird or sad is, you know, when I go to Home Depot to pick out lumber, I pick out the absolute straightest two by fours I can find. But then when you stash them for two weeks, even in the shade, um, you come back to them two, three weeks later and they don't even seem like the same two by fours. They're bowed, they're twisted, they're crooked. It's a pretty sad state of lumber that you get these days. But anyway, there you see it. I got my rafters in on about two foot spacing because of the wonkiness of them. I've got some spreaders here and there to kind of hold them apart. My next step is to come in and put in blocking. Really, not blocking. I don't know what you would call it. Blocking, purlins. The point is I need a surface, more surface, for my metal roofing to be screwed down to. So since I have about a 12 foot run, I'm gonna do one, two, three um, sections of two by four in the whole thing. So that's gonna be just as time consuming, if not more so than putting up the rafters because I have to cut all of them to really a special length. That would be great to have a, a saw man or a saw person where I could shout out numbers, have them cut it and throw it up to me on the ladder. That would make it go four times as fast. I'm gonna have to do, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'm happy to have it done. So uh, onward and upward to the next step.